to keep about your that. hemorrhoids to yourself. Make speaking of hemorrhoids, to hear about speaking it. of hemorrhoids, you know Eric Tuttle, one of our camera guys. Yes, I know, you know Eric. Quite, this is his brother Brian. Is that right, eh? Brian was carrying the the torch in Lloyd Minster the oh, other day. It's a good thing Eric did. We would have had a little CPR <laughs> action right. going on. Out you there. see the resemblance? Though? I, it looks I exactly do. like him, Brian. Yeah. Thank, get that out of my hair. Thank you so much for sending that into us. It is three degrees now. Good morning, everyone. I've been told, oh, yes, you can see it. Oh, it just slipped out of the screen. There it is again. That little tiny speck of light in the bottom. There you go. We're the live just about points right to it now. That is the Olympic flame in Devon. Look quickly because uh, yeah, it's gone. Uh, there. Oh. Okay, there it is. There it is. That's it right there. That's Devon. That's the Olympic flame. And uh, you can see as the torch continues to make its way through north central Alberta. Boy, it's been uh, just turning this part of the world on its ear. The Olympic flame in Devon, and uh, it's going to continue in this area for a while, ending up in Red Deer later tonight. Well, after making its way through Edmonton Wednesday, the Olympic flame left our city this morning, heading west to Stony Plain and Spruce Grove, and then going south. Residents of Spruce Grove were lined up before 7 a.m. to catch a glimpse of the torch as it went by. From there, the convoy headed through Enoch and then to Devon, where hundreds turned out to witness the torchbearer and their once-in-a-life opportunity. The Canadian anthem was sung before the flame carried on to Beaumont and Leduc. Just, you know, the people, I was, I, I can't believe how many people are out here today. It's, uh, again, an example of the human spirit, and that's what's so great about the Olympics. I loved it. Now, the torch is in Camrose right now before it uh, heads further south later this afternoon. It's Chris. He's a manager of Safeway. Oh, is that right, eh? <laughs> One of the Safeway stores in town, yeah. You know everybody. Yeah, right. You but you know done. what? Uh, last night at the yeah. hockey game, they mm -hmm. had a, a presentation. It was pretty impressive. They had uh, Jamie Soleil there. They had Katrina lemay Donan, And they had some gentlemen who were members of the 1952 Mercury team that won oh, okay. the uh, the gold medal, the last gold medal prior right. to 2002. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. These guys have been around for a while. And they were just there, the big that smiles on cool. their faces. Uh, Kevin they, Martin was there, too. Kevin right? Martin was there, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just with the run. I'm amazed that there's so many people like so much better than me. I don't I didn't see the reason, but there's just huge crowds of people out there cheering this song. Well, I, I awesome thought you were saying they were better runners than you because Pat oh, they Quinn, are better runners. No, Pat Quinn said he'll take part but he's not running. Oh, okay. He, he just kind of walked along the way at a quick pace. No, I, I just no I'm saying like I think I missed something because it's these people are obviously going out and having a great time and uh yeah, apparently glad to see it. Charges you right up when you see it. Yeah, it's yeah. A once in a lifetime opportunity. It is. And here hmm. Well, it's been an exciting few days for the capital region as the Olympic flame moved in on Wednesday. Then it took a, a rare day off yesterday. That's right. This morning, the trek to Vancouver continued as the torch left our city. Shane Jones reports. Thank you for coming out this morning. Well over a thousand people show up to see the Olympic flame make an early visit to Spruce Grove. For Christy Dirksen, the next 300 meters have been a long time coming. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to catch on fire. <laughs> But I'm really excited. It's, okay. it's really amazing how all the community is coming together like this. I didn't expect this many people this early. <laughs> Proud Canadians lining the streets watch Dirksen run by themselves, feeling the significance of this countrywide spectacle. It was, it was, it's an, it's an emotional moment. Um, that's what it is. That's all I can say. It's an emotional moment. I was really surprised at the outcome, outcome of people here today. We stayed at my grandma's overnight so we could just walk here in the morning. It was great. I was waiting for this, so it was, it was really fun. Really fun. Down Highway 60 in Devon, more Canadian fans wait for their chance to cheer on the flame and those bearing the torch. It is unbelievable. Like, to see everybody come out, it's just, it just heartfelt. It's unbelievable. Everybody's excited. The school kids, you can hear them before you see them. Another torch lit, this time accompanied by a chorus of O Canada. We stand on guard for thee. Amazing. Absolutely way more than I anticipated. Chris Wilkes takes time to appreciate the charged atmosphere. Just, you know, the people. I was, I, I can't believe how many people are out here today. It's, uh, again, an example of the human spirit. And that's what's so great about the Olympics. I loved it. Next stop, nearby Beaumont, where packed streets once again greet the Olympic-bound convoy. Go Canada! Woo! A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that all who witnessed on this day will always remember. Shane Jones, Global News.
The torch continues to head south to Red Deer. Well, it will stop for the night before carrying on southeast to Medicine Hat tomorrow. Fantastic to see all that Canadian pride, eh? You know what? Wonderful. It really was fun to see the torch, especially with having Chris Hayden and Global One flying overhead. Yeah, bird's eye view. Got to see it live. It was. Uh, I didn't think I'd be as emotional about it either, just like that guy said. But it was very cool. National pride. Yeah. Well, I'm good looking. You're hot. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, la flamme électrique, qui est le plus